hello and welcome to this channel this is a mathematics channel so if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing for more maths lessons and also hit the like button comment and share in this video we are going to look at how to find an angle in a triangle given all the three sides of a triangle Okay, so here is an exam question, which is a good example. Calculate angle BAC. So they want you to calculate angle BAC. So the angle they want you to calculate is this one here. Okay, uh, when you have three letters like this, the middle letter indicates the angle, uh, indicates the vertex at which that ang the angle is lying. So no wonder. This is the angle we are, we are looking for. So to calculate an angle when you are given three sides of a triangle, uh, you are going to use, uh, we are going to use the cosine rule. The cosine rule that has been rearranged. Okay. So since we are looking for this angle, uh, we are going to use all the three sides to find the angle. So what you are going to do is this is a so you write you write small letter a here on the opposite again this is capital letter c you write small letter c this side this is b you have a small letter b this side now we are looking for this angle okay since we are looking for this angle, we are going to say cos, cos A is equal to, we'll use this given side, so we are going to say B squared plus C squared, then minus uh, this side, the side that is opposite to the angle that you are looking for, okay, A squared, then everything divided by 2 times the sides that are making this angle here. So BC, 2BC. So this is the rearranged uh, cosine rule that we're going to use. Okay, so we go ahead and replace. Uh, so B, B is 45, but here we have B squared, so we have 45 squared plus C is 275, so we have 275 squared minus a a is 300 so we have 300 squared and everything divided by 2 times uh, b is 45 so we have 45 times c is 275 275 okay like this then we are going to have uh, when you when you punch this in a calculator 45 squared plus 275 squared you get 7650 7, so minus 300 squared is 90000 then everything divided by uh, 2 times 45 is 99 times 275 we have 24000 uh, 750 okay then here when you say 77 when you subtract this you are going to have a uh, negative 12,350 divided by 24,750 Okay, so now if you punch on a calculator, you are going to see that you have, um, if you divide this on the calculator, you are going to see that you have negative 0 0.4989898989 like that. Okay, but remember this is, we are looking for cos, cos A. Okay, so cos A is that. Now, what do you do? You are going to multiply or you are going to 
introduce the cost inverse on both sides of this uh, of this equation. Okay, sorry. So here you, 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 you just introduce cost inverse, cost inverse. Okay, so this side you have cost inverse of this everything here. So the cost inverse and the cost will cancel. Okay, so what will remain is is a a is equal to uh, cos inverse of this. Okay, so we are saying cos inverse of that. Okay, so shift then cos inverse of uh, negative zero point four nine eight nine eight nine eight nine eight nine. 0 0.49 89898989 okay and this gives 119.9 okay so this is 119.93 okay so now this is an angle so we're going to say a is equal to we can we can round this off to one decimal place uh, so we are going to have 119.9 degrees or even uh, 120 degrees okay like this okay so when you come back to your triangle here you can see that it's making sense because this angle here is actually looking like an obtuse angle so this is an obtuse angle and 119 or 120 119.9 or 120 degrees is obtuse thank you very much for watching uh, if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing uh, comment hit the like button and share goodbye see you in the next video